Simon, thank you so much for having me in Malibu. What do you think? Well, I think it was a dramatic two days. You know, the funny thing was, because you guys, along with a couple of other mm. papers, were in like the gallery, yeah. and now suddenly you're judging the show with me. Yeah. It was brilliant. It's my first time at a judge's house, and it was amazing to actually see the performances. And you do buy into the contestants, don't you? There's a lot of emotion there. Yeah, I mean, what people don't say, I don't know why we don't show this, but we do actually give them two songs. Mm. Uh, because I think it's a fairer thing mm. to do. Because you didn't, I don't want someone to go because they made one bad song choice. But you're right about the emotion. It's like they're all excited to be mm. here, and then suddenly they're like three or four feet mm. away from us singing. Very personal, and yeah, I mean, it's emotional for everyone. Because yesterday the atmosphere here was incredible. It was like really upbeat. Everyone's feeling this hope and the dreams. And I've come back today, and it's quite miserable in certain quarters because you've had to reveal the news. Well, it depends which room you go into. There's <laughs> a, like a not-so-happy room and there's a happy room. But, no, you're right. I mean, I, I, when I turned up today uh, and I spoke to all seven girls, at that point, I genuinely hadn't made my mind up. Yeah. Uh, and I said to them, just to let you know, I haven't made a decision yet, which I hadn't. And they're all, like, staring at me. Um, and then I had to go back and I watched all the performances back on tape then it became clear who I should pick, put through, but it was really, really difficult. Now, you're so many years in to doing this, though, dashing the dreams of, of, of many a young person. Making the dreams. Do, like ex it, well, exactly, both, both ways. But do you still, when you have to break the news at that moment, does it still get you there, or are you able to switch off? It depends who you're talking to. I mean, there are times where you just go, look, I've given you a chance, it's yeah. never going to work out. There's other times where you go, you've just missed it because there were better people. And there are certain people today who I just said, you're just not ready. Come yeah. back in a year, two years. Yeah. And luckily with people like Liam Payne is a great example. Yeah. You can come back uh, if you're too young the first yeah. time and actually change, turn it around. Now you had some help yesterday. In the form well, of I wouldn't two, call it help. Well, I was going to say two very mouthy Spice Girls, mouthy and Emma Bunton. Firstly, how great to see the Spice Girls back working together again. Well, you know what's interesting? Because I don't know Emma well, but obviously I know Mel yes. well. When you put the two of them together, the whole dynamic changes. Yeah. And I'm stuck in the middle of the two of them. And it was like, nah, nah. <laughs> and they were there to make my life easier. And I said at the end, I said, right, help me. Mel says those three. Emma says another three. I'm saying another three. And it's like, you're not helping me in the slightest here. <laughs> and you've obviously been working with Mel yeah. for a number of weeks on America's Got Talent, which was a huge success this year with yeah. your return to the show. But you do have a love-hate relationship, don't you? Well, I know her well enough, like you, Dan, where <laughs> I can wind her up yeah. and tease her because I like her. Yeah. You know, when you've got that, when you reach that point with someone where you don't feel that you have to have a filter and you yeah. can say whatever you want. And yeah, it's like, it's a fun love-hate relationship. Now, what do you think of the Spice Girls reunited? Well, I would like to be a part of it. Great. Like 100%. Uh, from what I hear, there's no chance of Victoria. No. Uh, Mel C, 50-50 maybe. So my suggestion is keep the three mm. and then we'll audition for two new members. And you might finally get to fulfill a lifelong ambition of signing the Spice Girls. Well, what I'm thinking is, is that if we want to find two new people, we could go into like these pensioners care homes <laughs> across the country <laughs> and we can audition in those centres <laughs> to find the next two. That is a very good idea. There was also something very exciting yesterday for me because I got to meet Eric. He oh, was never here. Met him. I'd never met him before. He was incredibly polite. Yes, he does. Gave me some of his food. I saw that. <laughs> well, funny enough, you know, that was the one thing I, I thought right from the beginning. I'm going to teach Eric how to share. So yeah. I said to him one day, it was a while ago, can I send me your milk? No. And I went, <laughs> well, look, we have to share everything, Eric. It took me about a week. And then I noticed when you said yesterday, can I share something? And he was like, I'm not sure. And then he came out with his red licorice, didn't he? <laughs> he, did. he did. It was so cute. And I was also so impressed because... He's so used to this TV industry that he knows when to be quiet he does. in our filming, which is remarkable for someone of his age. Well, yeah, I mean, particularly knowing who his dad is. But what's <laughs> funny is, uh, Dan, is that because he gets to see me 
watching the shows sometimes, you know, when they come in the, the rough auditions. And particularly on Britain's Got Talent, when he likes something, he's a really good barometer. Mm. Like we had these polar bears last mm. year. He was obsessed with them. Kept watching them back, watching them back. So he's in training. And Lauren was here as well. Yeah. You know how much I love Lauren. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a love affair, you two. <laughs> different, isn't it, to, to, to your previous girlfriends and that she calls some of the shots. Yes, Dad. <laughs> uh, yeah, but for all the right reasons. Yeah. If you're not careful, you can almost burn yeah. yourself out. You've got to have that separation. Yeah. And like I said, then you can look forward mm. to what you're going to do next. So like you said, we finished mm. America's Got Town. It was pretty intense. Mm. That finished on the Wednesday. Then we start filming mm. for this on Thursday. But funny enough, I said to her, I'm really actually looking forward to coming back to the show. Well, yes, but you've had this time in, in Hollywood, though, and, and you've actually formed a bit of a social network here, though, haven't you? Because Sharon was telling me earlier in the week that you've socialised a bit with her and Ozzy and also with Robbie Williams and, yeah. his, and his wife. Yeah, and, and his kids play with, play with Eric. Really? Yeah, yeah they, really they come over for swimming lessons and stuff. Robbie, I saw the other day, yeah. I mean, he's in a really great place, yeah. Dan. I mean, his wife, she is an amazing, yeah. amazing person. She's he's, a loose woman now. I heard that. Yeah. She's going to be incredible on it, by the yeah. way. She really, really is a sweetheart. And uh, he's in a really, really good place. And what about Sharon and Ozzy? Are, are they in a good place? I think so. I mean, I don't like to ask too many questions, yeah. unlike you. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, she, I think the show was a really good distraction yeah. for her when you know things were all going a little bit crazy. Um, and she's enjoyed herself. Um, but look, she, the thing about Sharon is, you see this kind of like tough part of her, mm. this very flamboyant part, but of course, you know, she's sensitive as well. And when mm. you've got to live all that in the public, it's hard. Mm. But definitely having Louis back working with her, because yeah. these two are two peas in a pod, uh, I think it's been good for her. Now, it's been a very big news couple of weeks when it comes to the X Factor and Britain's Got Talent because you have signed a big deal which will keep both shows on ITV for the next three years. How important was it for you to, to stay loyal to ITV because you've seen on the flip side, of course, the Great British Bake Off go from the BBC to Channel 4? That was a popular decision. <laughs> We are what did you make of it? Well, we're all sitting here thinking, right, make a bread show, make a cake show, make a pie show, and we'll go to the BBC with it, and they can have it for life. Uh, that's what we're thinking right now. Uh, look, it's their business, whatever they yeah. decide to do. I, I wasn't privy to what was yeah. going on. I mean, what's clear is, is that I do feel bad for the BBC, and I'll tell you why, because they developed the show, mm. they put it on BBC Two, they built this up, mm. built this up, and then they can't compete. Mm. And that is a problem. At the same time... That these guys make the show, it's their decision. As far as we were concerned, because we're loyal, um, <laughs> we, uh, start, I started my career with yeah. ITV. They gave me a break on all of mm. our shows. And even though we had um, a lot of offers from other people, mm. um, the decision at the end of the day was it wasn't just a financial decision, it was how could you take this away mm. since you, you know, gave us the break in the first place? Um, so for any other broadcasters watching this, we are loyal and we will stay with you. Well, it's very good news. Well, I haven't finished on that, that yet. That you stay in put. Thank you. <laughs> and what can we expect for the rest of the X Factor series, finally? Because the live show's just around the corner now. Madness, talent, surprises. Uh, what, was, what was interesting, Dan, um, is that when you make these shows as a producer mm. and they've been around for a while and you make changes in this day and age, when you do something that people don't like, you know instantly. Mm. Fortunately, we're in a, in a position that when people don't like what we've done and they say, can you do this, you can bring back what people like. Mm. So what we've tried to do with the show is to bring back all the elements people liked before and then make some changes, I think, which will be for the better on the live shows, just some fun things mm. we've got. So I think, uh, look, it was great, and, and I'm thankful that ITV did this. And they are fun shows to make, I'm not going to lie. When they're good and the talent's good, it's the best job in the world. Well, thank you so much for having me over here. I love the bracelets, by the way. You're so trendy these days. Do you like days. those? Yeah. I need me some well, of these. I'm, a, I'm, a I'm slight, very Hollywood. I'm a fashion icon. <laughs> you just never it's see them. very daring for you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Good to see you, Dad. 
If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.